Here we go again. Is there another Ugarte alternative? Yes. Manchester United have identified another alternative to Paris Saint-Germain star Manuel Ugarte. United have reportedly turned their attention to Wolves star Joao Gomez. According to football transfers, Gomez caught the Red Devil's eye last season. And the Manchester Giants could make a move this summer, but may have to cough up a fee in the region of 38 millions of pounds for the midfielder. Meanwhile, Manchester United continue to push for Bayern Munich ace Nusser Mazraoui. According to transfer insider Florian Plettenberg, negotiations between United and Bayern for Mazraoui are more concrete than the ones about his teammate Matthijs De Ligt, who's also targeted. A fee in the region of 21.5 millions of pounds is close to being agreed between the two clubs for the right back. However, a potential deal will depend on Aaron Wan-Bissaka's reported move to West Ham. On the other hand, Fulham are reportedly planning another transfer swoop for Manchester United ace Scott McTominay. According to The Independent, the Cottagers will come back for McTominay this summer. United have already rejected an offer from the Cottagers for the 27-year-old. However, the West Londoners are expected to come back with an improved bid. In other news, Manchester United ace Andre Onana has warned fans he will be taking risks this season. United manager Eric Ten Hag wants the team to play out from the back more than in the last two campaigns. New goalkeeping coach Yella Ten Rawalar has been working on that with Onana during their pre-season tour of the US. And the goalkeeper can't wait to show his skills with his feet, even if it might be a bit hair-raising for the fans. Onan said that, I think it's what you're gonna see this season, because I will take a lot of risks. I can tell you in advance already. Be prepared because it's gonna be this season, trust me. I will enjoy it even more when this season starts. Additionally, Manchester United lock horns with rivals Manchester City in the Community Shield on Saturday at Wembley. United manager Eric Ten Hag will welcome Luke Shaw and Kabi Mainu back after their Euro 2024 final heartbreak with England against Spain. However, the Red Devils will be without Rasmus Hojlund and Lenny Yoro, who both picked up long-term injuries during preseason. Tyrell Malaysia is not scheduled to be back until October, having not kicked a ball since May 2023 due to two rounds of knee surgery. City boss Pep Guardiola, on the other hand, will be without Ederson due to some niggles, and Rico Lewis, who was forced off during the Chelsea preseason victory. Rodri, Phil Foden, Kyle Walker, and John Stones are also likely to be unavailable during the weekend. And there will be no Julian Alvarez who is on the verge of joining Atletico Madrid. However, Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne are set to return to the fold. On the other side, Manchester United are considering a move for Burnley star Sander Berge after moving on from Manuel Ugarte. Eric Ten Hag is keen to sign a midfielder with Scott McTominay's future hanging in the balance. Galatasaray have made him a key target this summer, while United knocked back a $20 million bid from Fulham, with McTominay valued at £25 million. Of pounds, Paris Saint-Germain star Ugart is one of United's targets this summer, but it appears the Red Devils are ready to move on from the Uruguayan as they are unwilling OT match PSG's 51.4 millions of pounds asking price, according to The Athletic. The deal could be revisited if PSG reduce their valuation, but for now, United are considering other transfer targets including Martin Zubamendi, Joey Veerman, Adrian Rabio. Sunsport understands United have made contact with another midfielder, Sander Burge, who was relegated with Burnley last season. The Athletic claim the Clarets would be willing to sell the Norwegian, who only moved to Turf Moor a year ago. The 26-year-old signed from Sheffield United in a 12 millions of pounds deal, but Burnley reportedly need to offload players following their return to the championship. Berg is a natural number six, which is what United Chiefs are after following the departure of Sofian Amrabat. Burge could also prove an inexpensive option compared to Ugarte and Rabiot, who although a free agent would command big wages. Meanwhile, new Manchester United signing Joshua Xerxy has revealed his best position. Xerxy, 23, has operated as a striker for most of his career, but the Dutchman warned fans he is not a natural number nine. He told the Mirror, I occasionally drop down to midfield. I don't do that for myself, but to help the team. I am what I call a false striker. Not a number 9, not a number 10. I am a 
That's my game. Maybe I'm a little different than others, but being different is good, right? Additionally, Andre Onana has opened up about his first season at Man United and some of the criticism he received. He admitted, It's not always easy to settle in a new country, a new league, and new people around, but my teammates helped me a lot. Being a player for Manchester United, when you don't win, it's fair to receive criticism, because at the end of the day, it's part of the job. We are here for it, and me coming here as the best goalkeeper in the world, it's normal they were tough on me, because they expect a lot from me, but at the same time, they also give me a lot of love. You just have to balance that. And criticism sometimes is good, because you have to look back at what you did that was not good. So for me, I take it positively. On the other side, the last members of Manchester United's international contingent, who were away on their summer breaks, have returned to Carrington. Kabi Mainu, Lisandro Martinez, Facundo Palistri, and Luke Shaw reported for testing at our base, following the tournament exertions with their respective countries. Mainu and Shaw helped England reach the final of Euro 2024. Martinez was a key figure in Argentina's Copa America triumph, and Palistri performed well for Uruguay in that competition, staged in the United States. With Tour 2024, presented by Snapdragon, now concluded, there will be a chance for Eric Ten Hag to work with his entire squad this week in preparation for the challenges that lie ahead. The manager and his coaching staff will be ensuring the focus switches, firstly, to Saturday's Community Shield against Manchester City. The Wembley Clash kicks off at 15 o'clock British summertime and presents an opportunity to get our hands on more silverware, following the memorable Emirates FA Cup final success against the same opponents at the end of last season. Last Friday, Altai Bayindir, Diogo Dalot, Bruno Fernandes, and Alejandro Garnacho headed back to Carrington to begin their preparations for 2024-25. Our other summer internationals, Christian Eriksen and Rasmus Hoyland, rejoined the group in time to make the flight to the United States. That was also the case for Tom Heaton, who had been a training goalkeeper with England at Euro 2024. Ten Hag is due to address the media later this week in order to preview the Derby clash in the capital. Meanwhile, Manchester United legend Ruud van Nistelrooy has revealed the relationship with the individual is the key managerial skill he learnt from Sir Alex Ferguson. He said that, The most important thing I took from working with Sir Bobby Robson and Sir Alex Ferguson was their relationships with the individual. It's not a football player, it's a person. When you reach that connection, you get the best out of people and from there on, you can help them build their careers. I never let that thought go out of my mind. Sometimes you have to be tough on them, and sometimes you have to get your arm around them. That mixture is important, but the most important thing is to always be honest and straight. When you have knowledge about the game and what is necessary at the highest level, you must share it. As a coach, you just try to help players reach their goals, and it is something that makes you feel really proud when you see young players develop. On the other side, Scott McTominay may remain at Manchester United despite immense transfer speculation. According to Team Talk, McTominay could choose to stay and fight for his place as a move away has yet to materialize. Fulham appear unwilling to meet United's 30 millions of pounds, asking price for the midfielder after splashing a record 34 millions of pounds for Emil Smith-Rowe. And the Red Devils boss, Eric Ten Hag, said he wants the Scotland international to stay. Meanwhile, Aaron Wan-Bissaka is demanding a multi-million pound payoff from Manchester United to leave the club this summer. Sunsport has learned that while West Ham are willing to meet United's 18 millions of pounds valuation for Wan-Bissaka, they cannot afford his wage demands leaving the deal in limbo. Wan-Bissaka is open to joining West Ham, but has no huge desire to leave United and is refusing to sell himself short. The 26-year-old has less than 12 months left on his contract at Old Trafford and could bank a huge signing-on fee by staying put and leaving on a free transfer next summer. Wan-Bissaka's representatives are pushing for United to give the player a chunk of the 18 millions of pounds fee they will receive from West Ham 
Cam in order to get the deal done this summer. The former Crystal Palace defender has been on the same 90,000 of pounds, a weak contract at United since he joined the club five years ago and is determined to secure a significant increase, which West Ham cannot offer. Inter Milan are also interested in Juan Bissaka, and he could sign a pre-contract agreement with the Italian club in January if the West Ham move breaks down.